What is up, YouTube? We are back with the Hobby Exclusive. Uh, coming back at you with a boombox opening again. Uh, we got the mid-end baseball to start off the month. And uh, playoffs are uh, just starting up for for pretty much the wild card, at least. So we got a few teams in the buy, but we're hoping, hoping we can pull some stellar rookies, get some guys who are performing in the playoffs, um, you know, Hopefully, uh, we can see some of those star power come out. And who knows? You never really know who's going to make it to the World Series. And those bright young stars might come out. So, looking forward to it. We'll see what we can pull this month. Um, yeah, last month wasn't as good as we were hoping, of course. And that kind of seems to be the trend recently. But we're going to get back into it again. Fingers crossed. Maybe we'll have something spicy this month. But... What do we have to start it off? So, take a look here. Uh, we have 2023 Bowman Chrome Hobby. Uh, 2021 Bowman's Best, uh, also Hobby. Uh, 2023 Bowman Hobby and 23 Tops Chrome Hobby. So, at least four hobby packs. Um, we have gotten some lower end hobby packs in the past so i think personally you know obviously we might be missing a, a couple quality cases that have been coming out but not a bad grouping here always love bowman of course because it's who wants the rookies right so get that first bowman on there what do we got we got a 55 point seems like we've gotten that a couple times over the last few months don't mind it Again, hoping we could fill it with something. All right, so Alan Ginter to start off. Uh, I believe we got one of these last month, or it was possibly the month before that. But um, I got an auto out of this that was a Zach Gallon that was pretty stellar. So I'm holding out hope for Alan Ginter. I know not everybody loves it, but don't mind it. And they gave us two of them, so even better shot at it, you know. Uh, here's the Topps Chrome. Um... MVP buyback eligible 2021 Bowman's best. Can't quite think of who are the best rookies in this, but uh, should be a good pull. Uh, 23 Bowman Chrome and 23 Bowman. So we'll start off with Allen and Ginter, um, and then we're gonna get we're gonna save 21 for last. Let's see what we get. I'm not sure what is on the checklist. Um, contain only three to seven cards. It's kind of a weird variety of number of cards. Um, I cannot read any of that. So, it may not be on the back. All right, let's get into it. All right. I see a little, little color there. I'm not sure if it's any good. You know, you know, I don't like how they don't have first names on this just because. All right, Bryce Young. I didn't know we would have college football in here. Interesting. I can dig it. Thompson. Chong, is this number? Not numbered. It's a cool looking card though. I don't mind that. Now these little cards bother me. They're never on center. This one's not as bad as I've seen, but don't love that. And music to our ears. Maybe I just don't know Alan and Ginter very well because I have no idea what this is. Um, let me know in the comments if I have something here or if this is just another insert that nobody cares about. Get into the second pack. All right. I guess it is individuals who, like, the second card in both of these were something else. So this is a college baseball player. Spencer 
Strider. Oh, that's a mean looking picture. And Tampa Bay. Again, not numbered. That's, uh, that's a little bit better centering, I'd say. Still a little bit off left to right, but for the little ones, we'll take it. Steven Strasburg, five wins during the 2019 postseason. All right. So nothing spectacular, at least that I'm aware of, out of Allen and Ginter packs, but to be expected, I guess you could say. Now we'll get into the meat and potatoes, so they say. While we're getting to this, let me know who your picks are for the World Series this year. As you can see, I'm a Philly fan. Um, you know, a lot of Eagles stuff out there, but <clears throat> in the card box back there, we got a, a couple of Bryson Stotts um, that I'm, I'm really stoked about how he's looked over. He's kind of improved tenfold since last year, and he was a, a really good prospect coming up. So I, uh, I'm rooting for us, kind of. On the sports radio around here, they've been talking about how improved our uh, our chances are. We made it to the World Series last year. I don't personally see that much of an improvement, but if our pitching can stay together, I, I believe. All right. Josh Jung here to start off. And as we speak, I guess my dog was running around and knocked down my, my poster behind me. So that's the beauty being live. Jerry Walsh and Willie Adams. All right, nothing in that pack. I mean, John Rookie, not bad, but nothing to write home about. 23 Bowen Best, or no, sorry, just Bowen. All right, doesn't look like we got a lot. Spencer Torkerson. I'm not sure if I just don't pay attention to the uh, Tigers that much, but I, I kind of bought the hype of Torkelson and I haven't heard a whole heck of a lot since. Is it just his young career hasn't been consistent or am I missing something? Let me know. Max Scherzer, Reese Hoskins, they were talking about him coming back for the playoffs somehow. I don't see why you would bring him back after suffering such a significant injury and just to go and roll to a, a playoff game. That's You can't expect good results out of that, so I'm not sure why they talked about that, but interesting nonetheless. Jackson Merrill, not numbered. All right, paper first of Ken Gomez. Brooks Lee. Gleibens, Wilbur Sanchez, and Michael Dedson. Looks like it's got a little, little print mark down there. All right. All right. This one's giving me a little bit of trouble. That's what happens. Matt McClain. Do we have any color? Doesn't look like it. Bobby Miller. Oh, auto snuck up on me there. Vlad, Vladimir Restituyo. Don't know much about him, but we take autos, especially in the minute. And that's a fairly clean auto, I would say. So. Put that in the wind pile. Brandon Maia and Drew Jones. I was thinking this was 22 and it'd be Bowen first, but nonetheless, Drew Jones is a stud. So, we're down to the last pack. But I would say we've got a win so far, comparatively speaking. We can go for more though, 2021. car there. It looks like it's numbered out of 50. We could have something. All right. Javi Baez. Ketel, Ketel Marte. 
Wander Franco numbered out of 250, 206 out of 250. Would have been a great pull not too long ago. I am going to pull from the back here. Taylor Trammell. All right, got it upside down. 128 out of 150, I was wrong on the 50. Daniel Lynch. That's pretty sweet color match right there. I dig that. Kind of a random auto though. Like I get what he's doing with the D in the beginning, but like what is happening in there? Not sure if I know much about Daniel Lynch, but rookie card out of 150. I'm about to have to do some research on this guy. Solid, solid mid-end box for this month. We'll hold on to the Wander, too. I mean, that's... If he comes back and ends up doing something, I know he's got his issues, but... Out of 150, or 250, take that win. So, to recap, Wander out of 250. Daniel Lynch on the out of 150 color match auto. And Bowman first, Vladimir Restituyo. Dig it. So, let's hope that football kind of can compete this month. Uh, normally, football is the one I'm most stoked about, and we pull some some quality stuff, and not always the best, but we at least pull some autos and something that worth talking about. Baseball this month really proved that they they can pull some fire when they want to, uh, albeit not not necessarily all what we were looking for, but. If we can get that again every month, sign me up. Well, I'm about to sleeve these up. I appreciate you guys watching today, and uh, go Phils. And we'll see you next month. But to keep an eye out for our football that should be coming around the corner here in uh, a couple of days as well. Um, and, and I'm trying trying to get some other content going here. Um, so if you guys have any, any thoughts or you want to see any PC stuff or... Um, have any questions about, you know, collecting, just let me know. I'm uh, all ears. So thanks for checking out the Hobby Exclusive. We'll see you again next week uh, when I get this boombox open for football. Um, and then hopefully we'll see you soon after that. Have a good one, guys.